Today I'm using over 1000 prison keys to unlock the brand new huge prison cat in Pet Simulator 99. To do this I grinded for over 24 hours on 6 of my accounts so let's start on my main account with the first 200 regular keys and see what luck we can get. Ok first chest please something good. Veiled that wasn't the best start. Ok time to speed things up a bit let's time lapse until we get something good. There's so much good loot we can get from these prison chests so we will get lucky eventually. Ok there we go nice. We got a charm stone. Nothing crazy but a good start to this opening. And we also managed to get an exotic pet enchant ok cool. Luck may be starting to turn. We're about 100 regular keys into this opening right now so I think it's time to switch to the gold keys and see if we get any more luck. These give us a 10 times chance at getting the huge pet when I use them. First chest. Bro what? That's worse than the regular ones. Ok maybe we will get something good from the others maybe? No still bad loot what the heck man. I thought these chests were better. Ok finally a mini chest not bad. To speed things up a bit let's check out the best items we got from the rest of the prison keys on my main account. Nice some trading booth vouchers, piñatas and more. Alright we're now out of keys on my main account so time to switch over to my first alt and open up another 400 prison keys and a load more gold ones. Ok first chest come on. Bruh. My luck is actually so bad. Ok still nothing good yet. Time to speed things up and skip to the good rewards. Ok nice. Getting some more items worth a few gems which is good. We can actually get ultimates from these chests as well so I really want to get one of them. Alright we're now out of keys on this account as well. Time to get on another one of my alt accounts and get back to opening. Ok let's get back to using the golden keys and see if we can get the huge pet. Bro these golden keys only seem to be boosting the huge pet as all the other drops are just as trash. Ok finally we got a trading booth voucher. Man that took a while. Maybe our luck is starting to change? Let's see what else we can get. Bro let's go. We got an ultimate finally. Of course it was the worst ultimate of them all though. Nice. Thanks Preston. Give me a great drop and make it the pet surge ultimate. And another charm stone nice. Now at this point we have opened around 500 of the regular keys and about 30 of the golden keys and we finally got some luck. Check out what we managed to get. We got the new huge prison cat oh my god. Finally, this has taken so long. Let's check out what it looks like. Damn. Okay that's a super cool huge pet. Thank you Preston. After using over 500 keys we got it. And with that we now have 600 used over 600 keys. Time to get on another one of my alt accounts and hopefully get another huge pet. Ok now time for even more keys. Another 400 prison keys and almost 20 gold keys. Let's start with the gold keys and try and get some of that huge luck. Bro these 10 times luck chests are actually so bad dude. At least they're not tradable so we're not losing any gems by getting bad loot. With that being said I think it's time for another time lapse. Let's check out what rewards we can get. Also all these are gold keys as well so we hopefully should get some more luck. Ok some alright rewards so far. Still hoping for that second huge pet though. Alright I think we're almost on our last prison key. Wow that took a lot of time to open aha. That was nearly 3 hours of constant grinding. And just like that we have used all 1000 keys. Overall we got about 10 million gems in total of regular items from trading booth vouchers to charm stones and more but luckily we did manage to get the huge prison cat which is selling for almost 100 million gems so overall I would actually say this opening is worth it and if you have lots of prison keys they are 100% worth using especially because you can't sell them and the huge pet doesn't seem too difficult to get.